as, as usual, um, I'm here at the Salisbury Park reunion. Uh, it's something that I've come to these many years. Uh, it's a chance for me to connect with folks who I, I don't get an opportunity to see uh, during the year, and we're all here together because uh, most of us all grew up together. Or, uh, we married one another, and our children are having children with one another. So it's, uh, I look forward to this event every single year. Well, I just think it's terrific that all these folks get together. They have an opportunity to spend time with each other. And um, it, it's a real sense of community, these folks who uh, either lived here or um, have relatives that lived here, and they all get together. And it's kind of what Brockton's all about. It's about people sharing, having a good time, very peaceful. It's nice. Hi. I'm on Shane Stremgold, and it's a pleasure to be here today. I've been here every year. I, I think I do believe I missed one year. But I was born and raised here 78 years ago, and it's nice seeing old timers, old friends. And I want everybody to enjoy themselves today. What was your favorite park kind of growing up in Brockton? Salisbury Park. That's where we did skiing. We did everything down here. You know, so this is the park. This is the place. I grew up on the east side. The weather's still holding up for us. So far, we ain't got no sun. Oh, the sun's coming out right now a little bit because I'm here. <laughs> I mean, but anyways. We still got the same crowd out here, usual, everybody's doing good. We got the president of the committee over here. Big Sonny. Uh, big Sonny. Big That's Sonny. The big Sonny. <laughs> I call him Big Sonny because no, he big is the Sonny. Big Sonny. Uh -huh. How's everything okay. going today? Okay, man. Looking good, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. There you go. There you rain, go. Man. He's okay, the man. man. He's the one that hold it down That's for us. He's the one that put it on. Everybody yeah. enjoy. Peace. Ha! One more time. Ha! I feel good. Seeing so many people I went to school with, uh, people I didn't go to school with, uh, it's just it's really nice. It's a real community thing. I, we don't have anything like this down in St. Petersburg, Florida. Nothing, nothing like this. It's really beautiful. Now, did you grow up on the east side, Brockton? Yes, I did. Well, on a place called School Street. Now it was in the we call it the high ground. It was the highest hill in Brockton at the time. And you step out of my house, well, across the street there was a a church and a junkyard, San Fran's junkyard. This is right in the, in the neighborhood. Then we walk on down, we run into a Blue Eagle Market, which was an Italian meat market. We go on across that little street, and there was a, a, a Jewish delicatessen. So then you leave the delicatessen, you look across the street, you see Ginsburg, and he's a Jewish guy that owns a fruit mart. Then we go on a little bit further, we go to La Rosa's Market. Now this is where they buy the canned goods, all Italians, stuff like that. The Sergio family, they owned the better part of that block down on, uh, o I think it's Otis Avenue, if I'm not, where the Watt 5 Club used to be. Matter of fact, I think Marvin trained there for a little while, I'm not sure, but he, he might have. But he used to be a bocce club, and we used to set up down there, and I used to shine shoes right there. I, used to, I, I made a living for a family of 12. And yeah, it was really nice. Uh, then we go down a little bit further, matter of fact, the Italian bocce club, they made their own wine from the vineyards that were out there. Right across the street from there was a place called the Label Lysum. The Label Lysum is a Jewish club where they all get together on Saturday nights for their religion. So Friday and Saturday was busy, and I'm shining them shoes, and I'm making the money. I mean, it was a block, but you had to really fight for it. You had to be, you didn't have somebody backing you up, you wouldn't have the block. So it's kind of like full circle, you back here, so it's got to be a Big deal. time, and I'm seeing people from that time, you know, and it's just, it's just lovely, absolutely lovely. I, I'm ecstatic, and of course to see my sister again is really something. And everybody, as soon as they mention a name, I go, yeah, I know that guy, I know a guy. The Williams, the Shanks, all these guys, we grew up in the neighborhood. It wasn't, uh, you know, you guys on one side of the street and us on the other. That's dingo. Still, it's the way it is right now. One community, love it. Homecoming picnic. Uh, my name is Miles Jackson, here with my wife Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Hi, good afternoon. And this is our grandkids. This is Cheyenne. Say hi, Cheyenne. Hi. India. Hi. Are you guys having fun? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Sh Cheyenne, what, what'd you, what's on your face? You get your face painted? Where at? Princess. Oh, you're a princess? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, and we're all having all fun here. We're cooking out. Oh, oh. I got a design on my arm. 
That's nice. Very we nice. Free face painting down here this afternoon, um, and the kids are taking advantage of it. And actually, there are some adults that will be doing some face painting or arm painting. Um, there's volleyball happening down here. And of course, there's barbecue everywhere. Um, and everybody, um, basically, this is, it's folks from um, Brockton and the surrounding communities from way back in the 60s and the 70s and 80s who have come together once a year to uh, have fun here the weekend after Labor Day. When I'm Lisa, we've been coming down, how many years now, Barbara? I don't know. Well, I don't but we've know. been coming down to support everybody. Hi, my name is Barbara Bruce. I did not grow up in Brockton, but I've been a resident of Brockton for over 20 years. My children attended school here. Um, my uh, children had graduated from Brockton High, so I am connected to the community. I enjoy coming down here, getting together with everyone every year. Have a good time, good food. And may you all have a great time. Hi, my name's Robbie. Uh, I live in Brockton. I did go to school, I'm Barbara's daughter. I went to school um, here. Graduated in 1997 Ooh, from Brockton High. <laughs> I'm lying, it was 87. <laughs> So, uh, I, this, actually, this is my, I think my first time. I may have come another year, but I don't usually come. But I'm here today um, just to hang out with the family and see who I might bump into. Might be a little mini uh, Brockton reunion, maybe. I don't know. But it's going to be a good day. I hope the sun, the rain rather, stays at bay for a little while so we can enjoy most of this day here. Thanks. Say Tootie. Hey, Miss Tootie. What's your name? Raya. Yeah? Are you from Brockton? No. Yes, you are. <laughs> yes. Yes, you are. You're from Brockton. Are you having a good time? Yes. Well, the reason I'm here is is because uh, I'm an, an original Brocktonian. Grew up on the east side, not too far from here, on at 51 Bay Street. Well, there's no more Bay Street, but on the other side of Plymouth Street. And it's, it's like old homecoming, you know? Um, people come back who have left Brockton and who are original Brocktonians. And it's just nice seeing, you know, all my friends and neighbors. And uh, it's a good time, you know? We plenty to eat and a lot of good conversation and visiting. And, and, and like I said, it's, it's, it's a time when uh, every year I've been blessed to see someone who I have, haven't seen for years who I grew up with so it's it's always a pleasure